Hello and welcome to our GHI, the Good Housekeeping Institute. I'm Maker Beck, the cookery editor, and today I'm going to walk you through some incredibly easy microwave meringues. They cook in 40 seconds and all you need to make these meringues is 150 grams of icing sugar and 15 grams of egg whites. This is the same as a calibrated measuring spoon. Don't be tempted to reach into your drawer for a cutlery spoon because they're not quite the same. So the easiest way to go about this is to measure 15 grams of egg white, which is a little bit less than one medium egg white, into your bowl, get 15, spot on, then sift over 150 grams of your icing sugar. Now there's absolutely no need to whisk these egg whites like you would normally to make a meringue, because the secret is all in the stiffness of the paste you're making right here. Sift that over. Now get involved with just a simple wooden spoon, in you go. A little bit of stirring just to get the egg white a little bit incorporated into the icing sugar. And it will look like it's absolutely not going to come together, but there is enough moisture in there to make a paste. So now scrape down the spoon and get involved with your hands. The easiest way is to actually use your knuckles and as you can see I'm pressing the mixture in to any moisture there is just to get it incorporated as easily as possible. At this stage when it starts clumping together put some pressure in and knead it to get it as smooth as possible. See you're getting there now. Still not quite smooth though so put it on the surface and really knead it. Now you might not believe it, but that is going to turn into that. So now you want to divide your paste into 16 even portions. And before I start rolling any balls, I'm actually just going to give my hands a quick rinse because any of these dry bits of icing sugar are going to affect the smoothness of my paste. So now you've got your very, very stiff paste, which looks very much like the ready to roll icing, but it actually feels a lot firmer. So you weigh the entire amount and I can see that it's needs to be divided into 10 grams in order to make 16 equal pieces. So just pinch off 10 gram pieces, check that they're accurate, and roll them into a ball. Make sure you get your ball as smooth as possible because any cracks will make it rise unevenly. Now to cook your meringues, you place a piece of parchment paper directly on the glass turntable inside the microwave, and then put your balls onto this piece of parchment paper, spacing them as far apart as possible. Now you set your microwave power to 800 watts if you have the choice. Don't, don't be tempted to do it any higher because you'll actually burn the meringues. So, 800 watts and exactly 40 seconds. And that's it. There we go. Perfectly puffed meringues. Now you just finish off with the last few balls you have left and then very soon, in a matter of seconds, you'll have a whole pile full like we have there. In our magazine we've sandwiched them together with cream, grated white chocolate and crushed fresh raspberries. Yum!